Today I'm giving thanks for the Enneagram because I freaking love it. It's gonna be perfect. You go relax, I'm fine, everything's fine, I got this under control. I made three pies. What do you do for work again? And no one else can help me because nobody else is gonna do it the right way. We do the turkey trot every year. That's what we do on Thanksgiving. Do you know what I'm excited for? New Year's Eve, no, no, Valentine's Day. Oh my God, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I'm sorry that you chose to make me mad. Oh, you're coming tomorrow? Um, yeah, that's no problem, I can make that work. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about what to expect from the Enneagram types in your life this Thanksgiving. So let's jump into it. Enneagram one! As the reformer, your biggest motivation is to live a life of integrity and balance. This means that you probably have a distinct purpose and plan this Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving, everyone is going to unite in love and community. Everyone's gonna do their part, be orderly, efficient, and polite. It's gonna be perfect. Okay, Enneagram Ones, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This holiday season is not going to be perfect. In fact, it's gonna be far from perfect. So my challenge to you is to be gracious with yourselves and others when things don't go according to plan. Enneagram Two, as the helper, your biggest motivation is to feel loved. This means that you are usually the one serving everyone. You're the one in the kitchen cooking the turkey. You're roasting the butternut squash. You're putting Band-Aids on other people's kids. You are fully in the helper mode this Thanksgiving. Your goal this holiday season is to let others serve you. Try to let yourself be loved without feeling like you have to earn it through service. No, I, I don't need help. I've got this all under control. Everything's fine, everything's fine. What is this? You go relax, I'm fine, everything's fine. I got this under control. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know that joy you get from serving others? How about you let other people feel that joy when they're serving you this Thanksgiving? Try it out. I know it's gonna be really hard. I know that most of you aren't gonna do that. I, I, I love you too, so you are the best, but please try to let others serve you. <laughs> just, just a little bit, just a little bit of service. Enneagram type three, which is my type, woot woot. As the achiever, I can't believe I just did woot woot. That, that's a very three thing to do, actually. I really believe that. As the three, our biggest motivation is to feel valuable and worthwhile. This means that you're gonna try to take the lead in every way, and your workaholism is gonna bleed into the time with friends and family, and it's gonna make everything seem like a competition. I made three pies for my award-winning foodie blog, and I was wondering if you guys wanted to do a pie tasting competition. I made three pies, so I'm probably gonna win. This holiday season, I'm challenging threes and myself to rest, just stop. Have a deep conversation with a family member. Watch a movie without also doing something on your phone. Take time to connect, collaborate, and breathe. Enneagram four, as the individualist, your biggest motivation is to feel unique and find significance. This means that sometimes you let your feelings become the ruler of your universe. You can let family expectations and drama and like all the excitement of the holidays just completely overwhelm you and you're gonna like shut down. And, and this will inevitably happen, some family member is gonna come up to you and ask you about your job and you're gonna feel like they don't value everything that you do outside of your nine to five. Like your book of poetry that you're writing or your music or, or the deep things that you're thinking lately. Like you're gonna feel like your only value is in what you do when you clock in and clock out. So I, I wrote this poem the other day and I thought it was really interesting. I, I wanted to share it with you. It was about- What do you do for work again? This Thanksgiving, I encourage you to lean into your strengths. As a four, you are uniquely qualified to dive into deeper conversation and encourage deeper conversation with other people. Go out of your way to engage with the people around you and just keep in mind that your feelings are real and they're valid, but they're not forever. Enneagram five, as the investigator, your biggest motivation is to be competent and capable. This means that you're gonna go into the holiday season fearing that you're gonna be useless. To combat this fear, fives can be extremely 
high strung and intense during the holidays, making it really hard for them to relax and stay engaged. I've been prepping the turkey for three days, and no, I can't sit down with you because I still have to prep the pies and the sides, and no one else can help me because nobody else is gonna do it the right way. This Thanksgiving, try to find something that will allow you to connect with your physical self. Go for a walk around the neighborhood, do some yoga, try some meditation. Just try anything physical that will allow you to slow down your mind and genuinely connect with the people around you. Enneagram six. As the loyalist, you're probably the backbone of your family. Your biggest motivation is to have support and security. This means that you, more than any other type on the Enneagram, are reliant on traditions and systems. So when those things are in jeopardy, your anxiety can go nuts. What do you mean we're not doing the turkey trot this year? We do the turkey trot every year. I can't remember a year where we did not do the turkey trot. So we're not gonna do it? We're just gonna let our entire world crumble around us? I don't know what to do with myself. Holidays make people go crazy and things rarely go as planned. So I just encourage you to let things go with the flow. If something doesn't go according to plan, just take a breath and know that maybe you're creating a new tradition this Thanksgiving. Enneagram seven, as the enthusiast, your biggest motivation is to feel happy, satisfied, and to have all of your needs met. As the life of the party, sevens go to all the activities. They're constantly looking for the next fun thing. Is it too early to be listening to Christmas music? I just love Christmas, it's the best. Do you know what I'm excited for? New Year's Eve, no, no, Valentine's Day. Oh my God, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I can't wait, I need to go get something green. I need to wear something green. This dissatisfaction with the present moment can lead to an anxious spirit, and it means that you're never fully engaged in what's happening right now. This holiday season, try to stay active and engaged in what's happening right now, this hour, this present moment, right now. Actually, right now, you're probably watching this video, so like and subscribe. Uh, but you know what I mean, like in general, <laughs> try to stay engaged and present. Enneagram eight, as the challenger, your biggest motivation is to try to protect yourself and your destiny. Your confidence can sometimes lead to domineering and controlling behavior, which can make others feel steamrolled. If I hear you talk about politics one more time, I swear to God, I'm gonna start banging on Timmy's drum set until you shut up. Oh, now you're upset? Well, I'm sorry that you chose to make me mad. This Thanksgiving, practice letting others take the lead. And if there's a conversation that you really don't agree with at the dinner table, maybe recite a calming mantra in your head. Enneagram nine, as the peacemaker, your biggest motivation is to have inner peace and stability. This means that during stressful holiday situations, you tend to avoid your own needs and brush them under the rug so that you can absolutely avoid all conflict. Sure, you, you and the kids can come stay with us for Thanksgiving. I mean, we already have Tom's brother's family staying with us and the in-laws, but you know what? I think I can clean out the basement, buy a ton of furniture, and, and you guys can stay comfortably there. Oh, you're coming tomorrow? Um, yeah, that's no problem. I can make that work. Okay, we love you. See you soon. This season, try to voice your own needs, even if it creates conflict. Ultimately, stuffing things down is gonna create conflict down the line, so you might as well voice your needs and take care of yourself now, because no one else is going to. Well, I'm obsessed with the Enneagram, obviously, because I've made a ton of videos about them. If you wanna check out all the other Enneagram videos I've made, I've linked that in the description down below. Thanks for watching, you Enneagram lovers, you, and as always, have a lovely, lovely day.